Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Zanglas Sword from Avataro Sentai Dawn Brothers. I'm very excited for this one. This one's been a long time coming. Everything else for the show, the major roleplay weapons, all came out about a month ago at this point, And we had to wait for this one, but I think it's going to be worth the wait. It looks really fun. Ton of functionality packed into this. Beautiful LEDs up the entire length of the blade. Looks really, really cool. You can see Damo Mataro here on the front because he's the only one to wield it on the show so far. Not sure if that will ever change, but for right now, he's the only one to have one. A uh, really nice pick up top here with all of the different uh, Legend Sentai members. Very, very cool. Up here, you have that giant QR code that's always on there. I think that just takes you to like a Don Brothers website or something like that. Uh, down below, got a little picture of Damo Mataro again. Got some warnings and whatnot. Batteries not included with this one, so you will need three AAA batteries. Just giving you a fair warning there. Uh, over on this side, we got Don Momotaro. Over on this side, we got, I think, the other members of the team. This box is so massive, it's kind of cumbersome to keep in the review station, so I apologize. But yeah, there we go. We got the full team over on that side. Spin this around, we can take a look at the back. Of course, the sword has functionality on its own. But then it is compatible with the Dawn Blaster. Depending on what it reads, it can change the color of the LED, which is very, very cool. We will check out all of that. Uh, up here in the corner, you have the QR code for the manual. They do not include paper manuals with these toys anymore. So you got to go on their website to learn all about it. But yeah, pretty cool box. As you can see, it's a massive box. It barely fits in this, the review station here. So um, it's going to be quite a large sword by Sentai Roleplay Standard. So let's get it out of the box and let's take a closer look. So here is the DX Zunglass Sword out of the packaging, and it's pretty big in terms of Sentai roleplay items, I have to admit. I like how it's made to resemble a giant pair of sunglasses. I think they did a nice job with this little bit of shading there. Fortunately, it does not carry around to the back, but then of course you do have this nice LED thing that goes all the way up the length of the blade, so that's really, really cool. Uh, hilt of the sword here, made to resemble an Avataro gear, just like the Dawn Blaster that spins around. Got some nice chrome there. Got your trigger button here. Uh, this is really just a lot of yellow paint. And because it's on black plastic, they kind of had to cake it on there so that it would show through as, or the black wouldn't show through the yellow. I'm a little worried that because that's like right where you would grasp on the handle that over time that could wear off. So we'll see what happens. I guess only time will tell on that. Uh, around the back here, this is where the infrared sensor is, where it reads from the Dawn Blaster. This is where your three AAA batteries go. You just push a little pin in there, slide the cover off, pop them right inside. Got your on and off switch uh, right there on top. But yeah, overall pretty cool. If we go ahead and turn this on. So you can kind of see how the, the colors change all the way up the blade of the sword, which I think is really cool. Uh, if we hit the trigger, it kind of goes into this like standby mode. If we hit the trigger again, you get some generic slashing sounds, and you can see the LED colors change. And I kind of think it's neat how it kind of travels up the blade as it goes. If we spin this... So it says Don, Don, and as you go, it kind of like travels up the blade. Kind of reminds me of the Sword of Omens. Uh, but I think that's really fun. And then it says Don Momotaro. If we do it again, it kind of alternates between a second one. So it either says Don 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 Momotaro san or it says hey 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 Avataro san. So if you just it'll just keep alternating between those two if you keep doing it. Uh, if you press the button again and then hold it down. It has kind of a new standby sound. So for that one, you don't have to spin it four times, you just spin it once. 
Uh, if I hold it down again, and I hit the button, it does the same thing. So you can either hit the trigger or you can spin it again when you're in that mode and it'll just launch the sound. So pretty fun. I mean, that's three things it can do just on its own, but we haven't even scratched the surface yet. Let's go ahead and bring in the Dawn Blaster. All right, so we have the Dawn Blaster here and I've already transformed into Dawn Momotaro. I'm going to go ahead and turn the Zangloss Sword back on. And then we're just going to hit this part onto the top here in that spot that's obviously meant to be hit because the symbols kind of match up. You can kind of see that etched into the black plastic there. You can see that the LED is solid red. And it says Momotaro-san. So let's go ahead and change into someone else. We'll try Oni Sister. So now you can see that the LED is yellow. So now it says Oni-san. So I think that's really fun. So it'll do that for all the team members. So let's just go ahead and keep cycling through. So you can see we get a blue LED and you get that really fun monkey sound. <laughs> Alright, next up as we send that one flying, Inu Brother. So he gets a purple LED because it can't really do black. And then last but not least, Kiji Brother. Yeah. 
So I think that's really fun. It's got the color of the LED matches the Dawn Brother member. You also have a fun phrase for each. So that's really, really neat. And that's still not everything. So that's just the main five team members. But we can actually do something for everything between Gokaiger and Zenkaiser. So let's go ahead and check that out. So I'm going to go through everything from Gokaiger through Zenkaiger. Um, some of them I have the Avataro gears for, some of them I'm having to use Sentai gears. It doesn't really matter, it will get you the same result. So we'll go ahead and start with Gokaiger. So you notice the colors of the LED will go through the colors of the team. And then it says final wave because that's the attack for the Gokaiders. That's absolutely fantastic. I love that so much. All right, next up we have, oops, Go Busters. So this is just going red, blue, yellow. That's so great. That rolled away. Okay, next up we have Kyoto Uger. All right, so I'm going to use the Tokuger Alter Gear just to show you that there's no difference. It's going to just think this is Tokuger. Being an Alter Gear is not going to make any difference. For the sword. Next up, Ninja.
So it's hard to see because sometimes the white kind of looks blue, but white was in there because obviously there's a white member for Ninja. So that's really cool. All right, next up we got Jew Oger. Up next we have Q-Ranger. So I should have mentioned it earlier, but because Q-Ranger has so many members, they do a solid red LED, and then they do a couple with multiple colors on them because they don't really have time to cycle through 12 different members, or 13, I don't even remember how many it is at this point. Um, but they have to do kind of like three or four colors at a time, so that's why you saw the blade be different colors like that. Next up we have Lupin Ranger. Next up, Pucker Ranger. Next we have Ryu Soldier.
Next up, we have Kira Major. And last, but certainly not least, Zenkaiger. So you may notice with that gear, because it is the Zen Kaiser gear, it just did the full white blade because he's kind of mostly white for his suit. So I'll have to look and find one that's actually Zen Kaiser. I do have a Zen Kaiser gear from the special promotion, so we'll try that one next. But I wanted to show you that it does treat that more as Zen Kaiser and not Zen Kaiser because it doesn't cycle through the whole team color scheme. It just does the white blade because he's mostly white. All right, so we just saw Zen Kaiser. I want to go ahead and try a couple of the other Zen Kaiser gears. So we'll go ahead and do uh, Juran. So when you do any of the other Zenkaijers, it just says Zenkaijer, but if you use the sword... <laughs> so I just thought it was interesting that even though it just reads it as Zenkaijer, the LED is still red, so it kind of knows it's Juron still. It'll still say Dai Zenkai, but like say for example, let's just go ahead and try Majin next. So I think that's kind of cool. Even though all of the sound effects are the same, the LED still knows which Zenkaiger gear you're using because the LED will match. And I think that's really, really fun. Also, we can go ahead and try two Kaiser.
So that one just says Legend Son, but you can tell we did get a gold LED. So that's interesting. He, even though he's one of the Zen Kaijers, he's not, it doesn't read as Zen Kaiger. We'll go ahead and try Stay Caesar. So we get the purple LED. So he doesn't even say Legend Son, he says Avataro Son, and that's kind of one they use for some generic gears. I've tried a couple of random ones like the Rider gears or like the All Sentai gear. They just say Avataro Son. I guess that's kind of like a catch all for random things that doesn't really make sense that aren't really legend. Uh, Sentai members, but they're not like anything. It's just kind of like a catch-all other bucket, I guess. Um, so we will go ahead and next try the actual Zenkaiger gear that was the promotional item with the Anya ride on. So again, all the sound effects are the same, but for that one, it will actually alternate between all the team colors like the other team gears do. So that's really cool. So you have a lot of options with the different Zen Kaiger gears in terms of the LED with the Zonglas sword, which I think is pretty cool. Now you may be asking yourself, what about teams before Go Kaiger? So the LED did still go through the colors of the team and knew it was Live Man, but the sound effects just say Legend Son. So anything before Go Kyger just says Legend Son, but it will go through the right, it will strobe through the right LED colors for the makeup of that team. So I think that's kind of cool. It knows which gear you're using, it just has the same sound effect, but the LEDs are different, which I think is really cool. I think this thing is a ton of fun. There is so much functionality packed into it, it's kind of mind-boggling. The sword itself is fun. I think it's a good length. I think it looks good. I think the LEDs are beautiful on its own. It has a couple of sounds for different attacks and things you can do. But then when you start combining it with the Dawn Blaster, with all the different gears, there's just so much in here. The fact that it does all of the final attack sounds for everyone from Go Kyger through Zen Kyger is a ton of fun. The fact that it knows all the different Zen Kyger gears, even though the sound effects may be the same, still getting different colored LEDs. When you do all of the different, like, you know, past Sentais, it rolls through the right color scheme for that team by going through all those different colors on the LED. It's just really, really cool. I think this is a lot of fun. Like I said earlier, it's definitely worth the wait. And I recommend picking one of these up if you can. Because if you have the Dawn Blaster and you've been collecting the gears, definitely going to want to pick this one up because there's a lot you can do with it and it's a lot of fun. 
The only thing I could think to complain about, uh, like I mentioned earlier, a little worried that that yellow paint won't hold, up, won't hold up on the handle, but that's about it. I mean, honestly, and that's not even really a major concern. It's just something to look out for. But honestly, this thing's a lot of fun, and I definitely recommend picking one up. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.